Mic swap. So what does a bass player need with a mic simulator? I'm about to show you. The uh, thing about mic swap is it's a, um, a portable recording studio and it has 17 different microphones. Each microphone has its own special quality. Um, it emulates uh, certain famous mics and um, just all kinds of different microphones um, that are in the market right now. And uh, the thing that um, I can do with it, um, and I'm about to demonstrate, is it can also be used as uh, sort of an amp simulator because uh, it changes the tone, basically, of whatever instrument you're using. So, I mean, if you're going for different mic sounds, you can um, uh, emulate different mics. And uh, it actually has some pretty good um, amp. Well, I, I, I'll say amps, even though it's not an amp simulator. It has different... Uh, types of sounds that you can uh, utilize for your instrument. So uh, it can be used uh, standalone or AUV3, and I think there's two different versions. One has like a multi-track studio. Um, the thing that I was having with that was uh, it was only recording my left channel. I have uh, the uh, Focusrite um, I, is it 2i2 or whatever? And um, so it's got two channels, left and right. Um, I use the left for my bass and I use the right for uh, my microphone. And um, for some reason, and this happens with a lot of apps, uh, if, if they're standalone, um, is it chooses the first channel, which is the left channel. So you only get like the left side playing, which can be kind of problematic if you're trying to record. Um, but that problem is quickly solved uh, when you move it to uh, a host app like AUM or uh, you know Cubasis, whatever whatever DAW you use. So um, that's the solution for that problem. Um, so I'm just going to go through the microphones and just make a quick little video. I'm just going to play the same thing over and over so that you guys get a good um, idea of like what each um, mic sounds like. And um, so here's my my bass. It's Fender Jazz five string. Uh, and it's my favorite bass, and I just play it straight right now. It's just pure Fender tone right now. All Fender. So now I've got the uh, mic swap app going. That is not the first mic. Seventeen of these. So, like I said, each mic has its own quality, and um, if you're not sure about what mic you're using or what kind of mic, it has a cool little feature. Tap on the mic, and it pops up a little um, uh, information about that microphone that you're using. So this is an MS seventy seven, grandfather of ribbon microphones, and. There's usually a lot of facts about it, so you can figure it out. So this uh, from the Fender Tone to this mic, so let's check it out. So it's got a little, uh, sounds like it's got a little more mid-range to it, a little bit more uh, flatter or lower end to it. I have nothing changed on my bass guitar, it's uh, bridge and um, neck pickups are both all the way up and the tone is all the way up on the treble setting, so. The, some of the mics you can just look at and see immediately what they're gonna sound like. Like this one, you would think it's gonna be a small, um, tinnier sound, and when you play it, lo and behold, it is. <laughs> has a, a lot of mid-range to it, so it's good for like, a, you know, broadcasting vocals, you know, that kind of stuff. But uh, you could also use this mic if you want to do a little bit of lead. If you want to cut through the uh, mix a little bit, you could switch to that mic and uh, you'll be cutting. MS-58. 
one of the most common mics found, which is true. You see him on stages all over the place. And it has a, a pretty well-balanced sound there. So, I mean, you can go through and, and really, I mean, even though you can't change the settings of the mics themselves, you can kind of fine tune just by switching through the mics and uh, finding which one you like. One thing I want to note too, though, um, and this is uh, with with AOM or whatever host that you're in, that it there's different um, pictures that you can have uh, for the room environment. And I don't know if it changes the room environment itself, but um, I like having it on the blue um, picture be just because of aesthetics, it looks better. Um, but you cannot change that picture in um, AUM or whatever host DAW that you're using. You can only change the picture standalone. So uh, I read uh, from the developer and the reviews that um, they're working on uh, changing that so you can change the uh, picture in the back. But I don't know if it changes the sound or the uh, environment that you're in. This one, you think there's gonna be a fatter sound and lo and behold, there is. Definitely fatter. Let's go with this one. Cool. Hmm, is this going to be a thin sound? Let's check it out. You can't always go by the type of mic that it is, because that one actually has a pretty fat sound. has a lot of low end to it, not a lot of mid-range, and the treble is, is nice. Sounds good on this bass. A very popular mic. Every time you do a review, uh, uh, I'm not a review, every time you do a search for reviews on mics, and um, this mic always pops up as one of the best. Very frequently used by a lot of people. Not cheap either. But you can get it for the cost of this app right here on your phone or iPad. This is a lanyard mic. It can go in your lapel, in your pocket, clipped anywhere you want. And it actually is a pretty good sound. Pretty well balanced. Megaphone. Now this one I was a little bit, I'm not going to say disappointed, but I expected it to be more distorted and more tinny sounding, but uh, it actually has a more well-balanced sound, it has a lot of uh, mid-range in it, which is fine. So let's check it out. And I'll try it on my vocals too, just to show you the difference. <laughs> Got more of a grungy sound, so let me turn the uh, bridge volume down and get a little grungier fender tone here, and let's see how that happen, how that sounds. Yeah, so you can get nasty with it if you want, and of course I want. Let's so let's see what the vocals sound like. And I got the vocals set up. Hey, everybody. Let's do this. Let's get crazy. <laughs> I was going to say busy, but I don't think we're going to get busy in this video here. So um, anyway, you can hear um, what it does to the vocals. I don't like my voice really, so I'm just toying around with the bass. That's what I do. Um, here's another mic, MSK M140, small diaphragm condenser mic, 
Let's see what it does for my big bass. <laughs> Got a nice fat sound there. So this mic, I, I would actually say that, um, I mean, technically it has 17 different mics, but um, there's two mics in here that are exactly the same. They just have different colored screens. And the different colored screens does not change the sound of the mic. So if you switch from this one to this one, silver versus gold, they're exactly the same. So technically 16 mics. Here's a silver, just so you know. The same. Uh, this one, you can look, it's got a flat screen on it, and um, it does have a flatter sound, you'll see. So some of them you can look at and kind of figure out what kind of sound you're going to get. And MSC 12 VR. Warm sounding. Let's hear if it's warm. Definitely warmer sounding. It has a flatter more uh, higher in the lower spectrum, less mid-range, not as much treble. Sounds good. Studio G, let's give it a go. Kind of like it. Is this one going to be small and tiny like it looks? Or is it going to be deceptively fat and thick sounding? Let's hear. Or maybe something in between. A little thinner. It's uh, definitely in the uh, lower spectrum. It's do it does have a surprisingly fat sound to it, even though it's a little thinner in the higher spectrum. I like this one. It's closer to the tone that I try to get whenever I play uh, my bass. That's a blue light digital sound pack. So I, I like this mic. I would actually use it as a, a simulator. Nice. Oh, and that's the last mic. Looks like we got through them all. So the point of this video was basically just to show that um, you don't actually need a bass amp simulator to get tones that you want. So, um, you know, think outside the box. Um, be open to ideas. Uh, you know, I don't know if I would have ever thought getting mic swap to um, use as an amp simulator for my bass. Um, but the opportunity came along, and uh, lo and behold, it actually is pretty versatile. So you got a lot of things you can do with, um, your, you know, your vocals, uh, getting different types of vocal sounds. If you can't afford, you know, 17 different microphones, um, you can use this to uh, emulate famous mics and uh, change your tone without having to, you know, mess a lot with EQ in that. So the things are already done for you. So... I definitely appreciate you checking in on this quick video, and I hope I um, kind of gave you some more ideas, get you thinking, um, and get you um, uh, more willing to explore uh, different types of uh, apps out there, because there's a lot. There's a lot to choose from. So um, thanks again, and um, I definitely appreciate you guys. And remember to be kind, like, and subscribe.